Hey everybody, Blake here. Welcome back to uh, the second episode of Risky Bow Revival. So, um, this video here is just after I took it for a sea trial. So I took it for a, about a 15, maybe a 20 minute burn through Fremantle Harbour, just uh, mainly in the harbour and closed waters. Um, I just wanted to get the motors up to temperature, just make sure nothing's overheating, um, you know, all pressures and the motor's fine, and, you know, the gearbox is good and all pressure, which they all were, and all looked actually really good. Both motors sounded pretty, um, pretty sweet. Um, when the, when we first started up, uh, I think it was the starboard motor, and you can sort of saw, like you saw there before, it was a little bit smoky, but once the boat got up to temperature, the smoke actually um, went away. I have been told the, uh, the Cat 328 are a smoky motor, but, you know, who knows. These motors have about 2,000 hours on them. Allegedly, they're good for about eight to 10,000 hours, but I'd expect this boat has done some pretty hard work. You can see the boys here, they're taking it back to, um, back to their port. And as they give it a bit of carry, it looks like the boat's doing a skid in the water with all the uh, with all that smoke. But um, yeah, look, I mean, a lot of this work the boat would have been doing is uh, short, sharp work. Where it, you know, it, it started up, it rips out to pull in the line from a boat that's come into port to tie it up to the dock, and then it shoots straight back. So. It will be interesting to see the state of those motors once we can get stuck into them, even though they're fairly low hours since their last rebuild. You know, we just don't really know what we're getting. So um, it was at this point that I went back to um, the company that was on the boat and we crunched the numbers and eventually did do a deal. And about a week later, I had the boat lifted um, again to be put on the hard stand. So it was pretty exciting. I think at this point I'd um, Oh, I was really, really excited to get stuck into this, but I think like anyone who's just bought a new project and jumped into a, a much bigger boat than they've ever had before, the anxiety was uh, was up there a little bit, just wondering what the hell I've got myself into. So the boat was coming out. Um, you notice the hull is actually relatively clean um, because we actually had a spray uh, down previously with the high hose when I was inspecting the hull. Uh, so we took it out again and just gave it another hit with the, uh, with the hose just to um, get the areas where the slings were on previously. The slings have been moved a little bit to get the areas they couldn't get. Uh, but overall, I was actually pretty happy with how everything looked like the line the first time. And uh, now she comes out to be put onto the hard, and hopefully when she goes back into the water, she will be a much brighter, happier girl. So, um, yeah, look, I think at this stage I was definitely in the grin phase, like it just didn't matter what happened, I just couldn't stop smiling. Um, so it was, it was really, really, really cool. But I had to keep, uh, you know, keep telling myself I've got to have realistic expectations here because at the end of the day I didn't pay a lot for the boat and if each of the motors started and ran uh, without throwing a rod or dropping oil pressure, I was really having a good day. So it was just up to me to get on top of all the maintenance that had just really been let go over the last two years and pray that I don't come across anything that was just really, really nasty or terminal to the boat that just made the whole project uh, an absolute ride off financially. Um, but so far we haven't, uh, we haven't come across anything that uh, we didn't really know about already and um, yeah, very, very exciting stuff, but the uh, the old girl does look great, and the more I work on it, the more I really, really do love it, so uh, it's definitely grown on me, even more so than when I first set eyes on it. Alright, here she is on the heart, finally. Just give you a bit of a walk around to her from the ground. Obviously all these, uh, all these ties that were all these ties that were put on the uh, on the boat before Wallace, life as a tug will taken off and give us some of those rust stains. Just a couple of marks of rust, and we've been brought back to the steel, not where it is, just on the bow, tip of the bow. So, bottom pane, the anti valve actually isn't too bad, but there's obviously been some sort of electrolysis. You can sort of see it, it runs, it runs along the weld. So, we're just gonna have to take those back. It's good that nothing's, uh, there's no, there's no bare metal with any of these patches, it's just been taken back to some of the original primers and some of the early edge primers. So we'll stand there right back and see what we're dealing with, but just that stuff will just all be, um, will be, 
epoxied over and anti fouled over. Some of these old skin fittings, a lot of these skin fittings are redundant, but we'll just get the needle gun on those and get it back to be a metal, prime it and paint it again. Get rid of that. Same with these scuppers, a couple of scuppers, that's the exhaust, that large round pipe there. You can sort of see, uh, might be able to see straight through there. It goes through both sides. So both exhaust pumps into that central um, exhaust chamber and one goes out each side. So if the boat's pitching and rolling, uh, there's always one large port where gases can escape and scuffle the cell. So here we've got the props and the shafts. And you can see with this electron issue, it's clearly been going through um, some parts of the boat, but this anode, and I think the one on the other side is a lot worse than this. They're heavily pitted, they're not that old. And when you can compare it to some of the other ones, you know, they're actually not too bad. But more than things really. A support for the prop. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Um, if you want to keep up to date with live progress on the boat, just follow me on Instagram. And if you dig what I'm doing here, it'd be great if you like the uh, vid and maybe subscribe to the channel. And I'd love to hear all your comments and get some feedback. I've got a heap of content that I'll be putting up really soon. So I'll catch you again soon, guys. Cheers.